Daily pay is a trap. Worker says job offers daily pay, but now her $1,300 check is $150 on payday. So let's check this out. So Worker claims that she's not only getting a fraction of what she's earned on payday via a daily pay payment system, and others with knowledge of the payment system are claiming that it's a trap. The video highlighting the situation comes from creator at Rare Dej, getting more than 696,000 views in five days on TikTok since going up last Wednesday. The on-screen caption explains the creator's predicament. When your job offers daily pay, but you transferred all of your check before payday, and now a $1,300 check is now $150, $150 on payday. Let's see. Hmm. The video also uses the I need to buy a gun, Sam, blah, 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 blah. According to Daily Pay, one service providing employers and employees what the creator is describing, employers using Daily Pay can empower your employees with access to their earned pay when they need it and take advantage of additional capabilities to reimagine your rewards programs and simplify off-cycle payments. The site also claims employee time on the job increases by 27% on average when employees use daily pay, that's 39 additional days on the job. Give your people the financial control they want and they'll give you loyalty and long-lasting employment. But that's not quite the experience that all commenters are having. Daily pay is a trap, one asserted. And once you get started, it's so hard to get out. Like, wait, now I gotta wait two weeks for a check? My bills won't understand. And they just raised the transfer fee, another claimed. I already decided I'm deleting the app, but now I have to wait for my checks to get back to normal. El Mayo, listen, my check was dead $19 one time, said one, inspiring others to share absurdly low check amounts. I really feel like they should limit how much you can take, so unobserved. Another rally responded, oh, they do, El Mayo. They let us get 85%. That's the limit. So according to Daily Pay's FAQ page, each day you work, you build up a pay balance in your Daily Pay account that can be transferred into your bank account, to your debit card, or to your payroll card. This balance is updated when you clock out of each shift. You can request money from your pay balance whenever you want to for a small fee. Whatever money is left over in your pay balance after you make transfers during a pay period will automatically be paid to you on your next payday as a reminder pay. This almost sounds like getting a loan on your paycheck so that you could get money before your payday, which is a really screwed up way to do it. Like you're basically preying on people who need money quickly, right? Like basically... If you're someone that like has like constant bills, you're probably doing something like this because you need that constant money coming in to be able to pay your bills or your necessities or whatever. But it's like you're having to pay money to get your money early, meaning that you're basically getting a loan on your money, right, of your paycheck, right, because you haven't technically gotten your paycheck yet. And when you actually do, you basically get like nothing because you've already took out almost all of your paycheck. It's like, it's crazy. It goes on to explain, our software uses an algorithm that prevents you from taking out more money than you have. The pay balance you see in your daily pay account is your net pay balance and excludes any estimated taxes, deductions, and other withholdings such as garnishments. You can use the daily pay app, a tablet or computer to access your earned and unpaid income. I would never start, I know, it will become addiction soon as I start when predicted. Yeah, see, here's the thing. If you're someone who's getting paid, like, every week at the end of the week, and then you do something like this, like, oh, I can make $200 today, $200 another day, $200 another day, etc. You might get addicted to that, but you're not realizing, like, wait a minute, you're actually paying a fee every time that you take that money out, so whatever amount of your paycheck actually was, it might be actually $200 less than what it should be because you're paying all those fees. Like, this is actually pretty insane, right? It's like, you're basically losing money to get early access to the money that you worked hard for. Like, that is a bad situation to be in. And finally, one prayed, Lord, please release me from the shackles of daily pay. 
The Daily Dot has reached out to at Rare Dej via TikTok to comment. Like, this is the thing. Like, this is like a situation where you're just going to get like stuck in like a loop, right? Because you're going to end up getting addicted to like, oh, I got like some easy access to money right now. I could go buy this thing. I could go buy that purse. I could go buy this bag. I could go out to eat right now today and hang out with people. But you're basically in a situation where like you're losing money every day because you're having to pay a fee to get access to that money and you are getting addicted to having easy access to money, right? Because you're getting money every single day now, right? You are not going to get used to going back to getting paid per week or getting paid every two weeks or getting paid monthly depending on how your pay works, which is kind of a bad situation, right? Because you're not going to want to go back, right? If you know that you could basically get 200 bucks every single day instead of like, I don't know, like a thousand at the end of the week, that's going to be a pretty hard thing to get back to, right? Because you're having to wait for your money, but you're losing your money. Like you're having to pay fees. Like this is just a, like a bad situation to be in because people are just going to go down this path. Then they're going to get addicted to the habit of getting paid every single day. So even though they're going to be losing money, they're still going to probably stick to it too long. So like they could end up potentially losing like hundreds of dollars every month, every few months, a few thousand dollars every year by doing this. So it's a pretty uh, sad situation. Right. If you have any experience with the whole daily pay thing and how it works, leave your comments below. I kind of want to like search this up though. So daily pay. So this is the website. Employees stay when they get paid every day. Employee on the job increases by 27% on average when employees use daily pay. That's 39 additional days on the job. Give your people the financial control they want, and they'll give you loyalty and long-lasting employment. So on-demand pay, also known as earned wage access, gives employee access to their earned pay before the traditional scheduled payday. With an on-demand pay benefit, employers can provide greater financial wellness support for employees, leading to a happier and more productive employee or employees. Hmm. So 95% of daily pay users stopped using payday loans, 81%, or reduced use, 15% after access to daily pay. Like, see, this this is the thing that bothers me, right? Like, it's good that they stopped doing the, like, a lot of them, like, stop using payday loans, but that is their customer base, basically, right? People who are using payday loans, because they are so bad with their money, they have to rely on something that is so loan sharky like a payday loan and so you're basically doing like a lighter version of a payday loan by basically having to pay for your early access to your paycheck let's see hmm FAQ. Once your employee, employer launches their partnership with us to offer daily pay, you need a bank account, prepaid debit card, or payroll card so that daily pay knows where to send your earned pay. And the software requires you to have direct deposit for your paychecks. This allows us to, us to transfer your earned pay into your account of choice whenever you request a transfer. Does not require you to have a social security number. Okay. Okay. So there's no cost to you when you sign up for daily pay. You pay a small fee every time you make a transfer of your earned income to your bank account, debit card, or payroll card. Hmm.
Yeah. I, I mean, they say that is not alone, but it practically is, right? Like, they're, like, pre-fronting you money where you end up having to pay them back, basically pay for that fee, right? So it's kind of like a loan. Like, I don't really like this. Like, I mean, look, if it helps people not do payday loans or get off of payday loans, good, right? But this really isn't that great of a thing. I mean, like, for the short term, this could maybe help out a lot of people, but people are going to get addicted to the easy access to money, and they're going to spend their money, right? People are like, oh, I could just get 200 today, 200 today, 200 today, right? And just want to keep on doing that over and over and over. Like, this is probably one of the worst things for someone who has, like, a shopping addiction or some sort of other addiction that costs money. This is a really bad option. So be very careful with this. This could help a lot of people, but it could also exponentially increase the bad effects of some sort of addiction that you have. Because this is bad, right? This can be bad, I should say. If you want to learn how to get a debt and grow your net worth, go to 40 Stay tuned for more financial commentary. I think overall, this can be helpful. It's just like the customer base are people who basically do payday loans. And they are not people who are very good with money. So them having easy access to money might prevent them from doing payday loans, but they're basically also broke as well because they're probably going to be keep on spending their money constantly. So are they in a better position? Maybe. How much better? Probably not much. That's the sad situation.